A Summary of the Book of Esther. Chapter 7. Haman was summoned to attend the banquet Queen Esther had prepared for him and the king. As they were drinking wine, the king asked, What is your request? Even if it's half of my kingdom, it will be granted. Esther replied, My request is that you save my life and the lives of my people. We are to be destroyed. The king asked, Who has dared to threaten your life? An enemy, replied Esther. This wicked Haman. Haman was terrified. The king got up in a rage and went out into the palace garden. Haman started begging Esther to save his life. The king returned to find Haman falling on the couch where Esther was reclining. He said, Will he even assault the queen in my presence in my own house? The guards were called to seize Haman. One of the king's attendants reported, Haman has erected a pole by his house. He was planning to hang Mordecai on it. The king ordered Haman to be hung on it. Haman was led out to be hung and the king's fury subsided. A Summary of the Book of Esther Chapter 8 That day the king gave Esther Haman's estate. She told him she was related to Mordecai. The king gave Mordecai Haman's signet ring and Esther appointed him to look after Haman's riches and possessions. Esther fell at the king's feet weeping and begging him to put a stop to the evil plan to kill the Jews. She said, If it pleases the king, let an order be written overruling Haman's plan. The king replied, As Haman threatened the Jews, I have hung him on the pole he set up and given his estate to Esther. Write another decree in my name and seal it with my signet ring. No document written in my name can be changed. The royal secretaries were summoned. A new law was written giving the Jews the right to gather and defend themselves if anyone attacked them. They could also plunder the properties of their enemies. Copies of the new law were sent out through the 127 provinces of the empire. Everyone knew the Jews would be ready and waiting if anyone attacked them on the 13th day of the 12th month. When Mordecai left the palace, he was wearing a royal purple robe and crown. The Jews celebrated the news and their enemies became afraid of them.